To activate your 30-day free trial, the first thing you will want to do is open your GoGoGate app and select Find GoGoGate. Then select Open Web Page and insert your password. If you have not changed your password, the default password is Admin and then Sign In. It is important to remember that to enable your fe video feature, you will need to first enable your remote access functionality. To do that, just select the Enable button, accept the terms and conditions, and then press Activate. Your Google Gate will take about 20 seconds to activate this feature. You only need to do this once. A message confirming that your remote access is enabled will be displayed. At this point, you can either click on the Buy Video Plugin icon, or you could also click on the Configuration button. We are going to click on the Buy Video icon. Then select the Free tab, and you will see in the green box that your plugin is now active for a 30-day period. It is now time to link your camera to the GoGoGate app. It is important to understand that every camera works differently, and as such you must make sure to follow the instructions for your specific camera. Now to link your drop cam to the GoGo Gate. The first thing you will want to do is access the drop cam web page and log into your account with your existing drop cam username and password. In this case, I am being displayed the video of my garage that is going through the drop cam web page. You will now select Sharing on the top right corner of the screen and select the Public option. Read the T and C's, and if you agree, check the appropriate box and press Make Public. Dropcam will now assign a specific URL to your camera. You will want to copy this URL address, as this is what you need to link your GoGoGate to the Dropcam. Now go back to your GoGoGate app and select your Dropcam option from the camera menu list. Next, type the exact URL link shown in the Dropcam page and then select Update. It's important to type this URL link exactly as you see on the Dropcam website. Now press update and you are done. Your video should now be displayed within the app.